Thank you for that reminder. <laughs> okay, where, what did we get up to? Uh, oh, we got to the bottom, three lines up from the bottom. Right, that's what we got up to? Yes. Fine, so we're again, we're in the middle of, um, what do you call it? The sugya of two Adim against two Adim. Right? Yeah, so now who do we believe? Who do we not believe? Et cetera, et cetera. So now we start, start with another case now. Um, right? So one other thing that we've been that we've been learning is that a lot of times we'll tell the woman she's not allowed to get married. Right? If she got married, then we don't make her get divorced. Sometimes we do make her get divorced, sometimes we don't. Right? So Tonar Rabban. Right? The Rabban says, Shnayim Aimrim. Shnayim Aimrim, two said. Hold on a second. What? You serious? Um, are you, um, do you hold the Fataz that can't be? Higher up on the side, the left one side, higher. one side than the other. Not on a no, lesson. no, that the that the lefty can't go higher than the string. That's the middle of the middle of the if the middle of the lefty is lower down on the side. If the middle of the lefty. So lower. if there's like if the lefty if the lefty the top of the left he's like you, and the string is, and the lefty goes higher than the string. I prefer it not to be like that. Where is it like? Okay. By the you know the one that's always crooked, on the other side of the string. Which one is always crooked? The corner one on the other side of the street is like always like on a very steep slant. Yeah, it goes so, in there. So no, so it's that little string came down. So they're putting it back up. Once you're putting it back up, you've got it straight. So now, now it's straight, but as we're putting it back up, so the the nail dug in, the top, dug in a little the bit. The nail on top is all the way dug in, and and the, the wood is a little bit rotten, so it goes in, but only a little bit. So, all right, okay, then I'm fine. So, okay, yeah. perfect. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right. I guess when I leave, I'll look at it again. If, it, if there's a problem, then I'll. So it, it's only a little bit. So okay. I'm saying like that either way. Yeah. Okay. Fine, maybe, it's by, maybe it's by lock sign. <laughs> Very good. But no, he's tiny that it's sunk inside. Okay. I'm sorry. Um, yeah. So, so, okay. So again, so we said that there are times in the we're going to say it's no good. And then but the evidence it is good. So here we have the same case. Turn around. Schneiman and Miskacha. Two Adam say she got married. And two say she didn't get married. I raise the not say she can't get married because we have a, we have we have conflicting witnesses whether whether she's uh, married or not. But if she gets married, let's say say she doesn't have to get divorced. If two they say that she's divorced and two say that she's not divorced, I raise the not say then she shouldn't get married. This is Tate then. But if she did get married then. Then she has to get divorced. Yes, on top of Aleph now. Maishna, Reisha, Maishna, Sefa. How come in the Reisha, she gets married, she has to get, um, she has to, she doesn't have to get divorced, and in the Sefa, she does. So we're not talking about two Eid, we were talking about an Eid Echad. And that changes the whole thing. Eid Echad, Oymer, Niskacha. One Eid says she got married. Eid Echad, Oymer, Loi, Niskacha. And one Eid says she didn't get married. And both of them are, are willing to admit, right, that she was single before before this, she was single. She wasn't married before this. This that she said is, is a is a chad. Right? So, so meaning you have you have Adam that she was single. You have one aide that says she's kedusha, that she was married, that she was married. So that's one aide who's saying she's married and she can no longer get married to anybody else. But you have two aide that are saying that she's single. And the words of one is not gonna, gonna apply to to in the makam of two. So therefore, we're gonna even though we're not gonna let her get married in the first place, but if she did, then we're gonna allow it. Seifa. In the Seifa, it's one aid is saying this Garsha, and one aid is saying didn't this Garsha. And both of them are saying Eidus on Eishas Ish. 
The one that's saying that she is divorced is only a das yachid. I mean, not a das yachid, it's one against two. So one doesn't apply to two. So therefore, we're going to, uh, we're going to even, even the Yavid, I'm sorry, we're going to make her uh, get divorced, right? Now, how, how come you don't say a pesha also, who a pesha hit there on this eight? Right? Meaning, didn't this eight Does after Pesha you just who Pesha hit there apply on somebody else or just on yourself? Oh, very good. So, but why shouldn't it apply on somebody else? Uh, in the Pasuk, it's essentially about someone else. It's between the father, with the, father, the father with, the with the daughter, you're saying. That's yeah. a good point. That's a good point. Um, right? Um, no, but, but he, what's the Pesha also? He could have just said she's single. If he wanted to say that she's going to get married, he could have just said she's single. No, he said she's single and she got divorced. So he should be believed like that. No? Okay, whatever. That's a Kasha. Fine. Ravashi Omar, Loilam Trey Trey. It's talking about it's two against two, which bats and makes more sense because the, the Brisa said two and two. If you go with the Lushan that it says one aid, you have to twist the Lushan of the Brisa. Which last week we had a couple of times <coughs> that the Gemara said, no, 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 you're changing the price. Clearly the first test doesn't have a problem with that here. Right? Right? And then you switch it. Parents, we have two Aprils, one today and one tomorrow. Um, yeah, so the Gemara says yeah, I was about to say, man, make my day. But this is not your classic April. This is a little bit different. Right? I mean, but he's saying the April, meaning the ones that said where she's there, she was married, and there she has to get divorced. The ones that say divorced, she doesn't have to. If she got married, she doesn't have to get divorced. So then I explain. I remember being new in the scotch. He says it's a different case. Two of them said we saw her get married. We didn't see her get married. Meaning these eight of them now, according to Ravashi, are not saying she didn't get married. They're just saying we didn't see her get married. Right? So she's not allowed to get married. If she got married, she has to go out. Right? Meaning, what? Because they said we didn't see her get married. That's a riot to anything. Why should that be a riot? Right? Certainly, it's certainly not good ages. Correct. They didn't I mean, see anything. Imagine if every case in Besden with whether a woman's married or not. You go over to two guys, you say, hey, you see this lady get married? Right? So I wasn't there. Okay, so all of a sudden those become good aid them, right? And now she can get married to somebody. That would really be something. But uh, yeah. So anyways, so that's what that's what he's saying. So that's why they have to get divorced. Because there's no, there's not even aid them. Um, so the Gemara says, like Tricha, the diary of Chatzar Echadot, somewhere where they lived in the same Chatzar. They lived in the same yard together. Wow, the same in Isa Diniskacha. You might think that if she got, if, the, if she would have gotten married, Kola Isla, you would, Lamilsa, you'd think at least the neighbors would know if she got married. And this that the neighbors are saying that she didn't get married must be she Taka never got married. That's what you would have thought. Kamashwalan, the Avdi Inish, the Makachi Bitsina. Some people do get married Bitsina. Not everybody makes these big fancy weddings that everybody has to know about, right? Some people just get married Bitsina. All right, so therefore, it is possible that they didn't hear about it. Okay, so that's this the is situation. really the sinner. This is Mamish but sinner. Yeah, I mean, probably two the neighbors them, don't it. know. You know, well, my my parents got married in Rabbi Cohn's office, Rabbi Feibel's father, in his office in his house in Montauk Avenue. That's where they got married, in his office. So who knew about it? I don't know. You know, serious? Yeah, of course. Yeah, I'm serious. Yeah, how do you mother, make my, a carving station for only my, that amount of people? My but my mother, both of her parents died within six months, and they wanted to get married. My, they, my, they were supposed to get married in 1942. This was now 1947. After the war, after my father got out of the war, and then her mother died, and then her father died. So they got married in his house. Um. So, okay, so then there you go. But did Shilas, did people know about it? Or it was like, I, uh, no, I don't know. 
I don't know what yeah. what what the, what they did. I don't, know, I don't know. I mean, before the errors of cell phones, it probably was easy to get married, and not many people knew. Probably wasn't so mean? crazy. I mean, before you mean social media too. I'm saying everyone puts it on their WhatsApp status, and you know, I'm saying like, and, and and everyone knows what's going on. But before the cell phones, you, okay, you get you have it someplace. Not everybody, maybe not everybody knows. Okay, so I know Khanami said, I was saying that it is possible. You can have what do they call those destination weddings? No, I think all that destination, but that people know about because okay, I don't know. No. The only point of having a destination wedding is to tell everybody that you're doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. Correct. All right. Anyways, let's see. Safer. What's the safer? Shnaiman renewish in the Who said we saw her get divorced? We didn't see her get divorced. She can't get married. Right? Because, uh, but, uh, I mean, we don't want her to get married, even though they just didn't see her. Right, but if she did get married, then she doesn't get divorced. She doesn't get divorced. My What are you trying to tell us? You're saying that even though they live in the same chotzer, maybe they didn't know she got divorced. Right, that's the ratio. I mean, well, what's your chiddush about the safe any more than the ratio? That's a the same. the uh, same. By by uh, kiddushin, that's what people. People can sometimes get married, but sin alogavi gerushin. And misa the garsha kol is a little milsa. Everybody knows because you know, unfortunately, we like we like negative news much better than we like positive news, right? So people, everybody would know. It's not possible that if she got divorced, no, that people are not going to hear about it. Kamash malon davidi inchi the makaji the magarsha betzina. No, the chiddush is that no people can get divorced betzina, and therefore, therefore, there is the possibility of that. Fine. Okay. Let's say, so really, when you look back at the mission on this, which is that the la- end of the mission, because there were two cases in the mission. There was a case of her admitting that she was married, but she was divorced. That was one That was one case of Pesha Asura Pesha Yitif. And the other case of Pesha Asura Pesha Yitif was that if she she was, she said she was, uh, how do you call it? Not trapped. Uh, so tired. Uh, captured. She was captured. And, but she said nobody, nobody was, uh, nobody raped, her, right? But then the Gemara says, but if she got married, and then the Adam came, then she doesn't have to get divorced. So, but, so now, which case is that going on? Is that going on the case of her saying she was married and divorced, or is it going on the case of her being captured? So Rabbi Oishia Masila Reisha, Rabbi Oishia learns it on the Reisha, right? It's going on the part where she said she's married, and then. Then she got divorced. Rabbi Barabbin Masnila Seifa, but he's saying on the Seifa, on the captured part. Okay, so Manda Masnila Reisha, Kosheke na Seifa. If you're saying in the Reisha, she doesn't have to get divorced, so then Kosheke in the Seifa, because we're always more makel by captured, right? By Aishas Ish. See, um, the marriage one is, is a potential Aishas Ish. So if you're mattering Aishas Ish, you're certainly going to be matter. Again, when, when she gets captured, the whole Shiloh is, could she marry a coin, right? We're, we're, we're afraid that a guy slept with her, and a, then that then she can't marry a coin, right? But, but, at the Maisa, that's way less of an Isser than Aishas Ish, right? So, therefore, if you're learning that she doesn't have to get divorced based on uh, marriage, then Kol Shikain, it's going to be on the case of Shuya, the Shuya Kilo, because the Shuya, we're, we're, we're always more make. The one that says that by the Seifa, by Shuya, she doesn't have to get divorced, but not necessarily on the Reisha. So Gemara asks, So let's say, what's a Pshan of the Machloikis? Maybe the Machloikis based on what Rav Amnuna was. Now, what was, what was Rav Amnuna's din? We had it yesterday, or was it two days ago, we had the din by Rav Amnuna. Rav Amnuna says a woman will never have the chutzpah to tell her husband to his face that she, she got divorced from him if it's not true. That was Rav Amnuna's din. A woman will never have the chutzpah. I don't know if the Metzi has changed on that, by the way. But uh, a woman will never have the chutzpah to say that. So, the one that says it's going on the Reisha holds a Rav Amnuna, right? And therefore, when she says that she's divorced, it's an automatic belief. We're all automatically believing her. Right, the one that says it's only on the seifa, 
he's doesn't hold her of Amnuna, and therefore we are chayshe that she would lie to her husband that she would get divorced, right? The Gemara answers like the Kuliyam is with Rav Amnuna. Everybody holds of Rav Amnuna. Here was Machlokes like, Mar Savar Ki Itmar the Rav Amnuna Befano. When did Rav Amnuna say his din? That's only she will only have she will only not have the chutzpah to lie to him right to his face. Right, but if she's not right in front of her husband, then she'll have the chutzpah to say, "My husband did, did divorce me, even though he really didn't." And not in front of him, she also, um, not in front of him, she would also not have the chutzpah. Which I can't say, understand that. Why would she not have the chutzpah to tell somebody else that her husband divorced her? I mean, basically, according to this, this, this way we're learning around Nuna, we're saying that a woman will never say to anybody that she's divorced if she didn't get divorced. I understand in front of it, right to the husband's face, somebody wouldn't have the chutzpah to do that. I could hear that. But to say it to Bezdin when the husband's not there and make a lie, I'm not sure I understand why she wouldn't have the chutzpah to do that. Unless, unless would, a, would a man have the chutzpah to say it about the woman? Or, or that's... That's what I'm saying. I think the I think the roles are totally totally reversed. I think, but uh, I don't know. But you see, a man, it, it's not a gay to a man because a man will just get married to anybody anyways. So it's only the woman that has the issue. The man could say he doesn't have to say she divorced his wife. He could just say I'll go marry somebody else. Yeah, but I'm just I'm just saying would that would that we're saying a woman wouldn't have right. Wouldn't have that. No. But would no, the man? Think- I'm just saying. He wouldn't I need think, to. I understand that. Yeah, there's more men who have second wives in different countries than women have second husbands in different countries. No, I just wanted to no, know. But I'm saying nowadays, I think the women do have chutzpah to lie to their husbands in their face and say, you divorced me, or these type of things. I don't think there's much intimidation. I think it's part of the reason it's called a chutzpah. Back in the day. It's called a what? <clears throat> why it's called azus. Back in the day, the husband supplied everything. So she's going to kick him in the face and lie about it. Today, the women supply everything. It's not a chutzpah anymore. So, you mean it's not a chutzpah? You're saying it's not even a chutzpah? It's, the whole thing doesn't apply. It's not a chutzpah. There's no azus. That's in an interesting marital, thing. It's a, it's, in, in marital divorces, lawyers coach the women to say he molested the child and all this kind of stuff. I mean, it's very common, even in our community, that lawyers are coaching women and men. It's unbelievable, honestly. Right. No, that's true. That is true. So you mean the chutzpah is built in? I mean, to say to say that your father, that the father of the child was molesting that child to get full custody, I think that's, you know. You think that's worse? That's what you're saying. It's worse. That's what we've that's what we've sung to, including orthodox, so-called orthodox lawyers, marital lawyers. I'm not kidding. Right, right. I hear that. I hear. So it could be the Matthias change. Okay, I don't know. Fine. Right. So then the Gemara continues on the same line. If when they got married again, the same same Gemara. It's not so often that you have that. There's two. Uh, I don't know what you call these. Debra Maskels explaining the same line in the Mishnah. Right. So here it's explaining again the same line in the Mishnah. If once she got married, Aiden came to say that she was raped. Or violated, whatever you want to call it, then uh, the then uh, she still doesn't have to get divorced. So Amar Avu Shmuel, he says a chiddush. Like this is Mrs. Mamish doesn't mean that she actually got married, right? Ella kivan shetiruli nase. It's a bigger chiddush that even if once we mattered her to get married, Ava pishalay nisus. Even if she didn't get married, she's still allowed to. Meaning, it's one thing you would have thought Shmuel saying, right? Avu Shmuel saying. Okay, you would have thought, okay, she's married already. We're not going to make, because Aiden's role came in. We're not going to make her get divorced. No, he's saying, no. Even if we pass in on her that she can get married, we still, and then Aiden come, we still will let her get married. Which, which, hashkafically, I don't know if it's called hashkafically, does, I mean, where's Akiva? Akiva's not around. Akiva will be jumping all over this, right? What's a shot? She, Lamaisa, she's not married yet. She's not married yet, and Aiden came, Right? So, so why should she be able to get married just because best in Paskin it? But then the scenario changed. No, am I? Am I? Uh, I'm saying it's a. It's a, it's a, it's a 
for our brains, these are shvera gemaras. I mean, yeah. Talk about taking one piece out of three pieces, eating all three. One, one, That's why Marchuk has two. to go to another daf because he knows that this daf doesn't understand what's going on. He has to go to a different daf. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so I can't say I understand it, but that's his Kiddush. So the Gemara says, Bob, it says, for say take it. says she doesn't get divorced. It doesn't say she's allowed to get married. Laisete may have teira harisha. What laisete means is she can't, she's, she doesn't have to go out from her first heter. Right? Not that she has, doesn't have to go out from her marriage. She doesn't have to go out from her first heter. Fine. So Tana Rabba. Amra, she says, the space to hire any. She says, I was I was uh, kidnapped, whatever, but I'm tired. And I have Aidim. So we don't say We don't have to say that you have to say you have to say you have to We don't have to wait until she brings the Aidim. We allow her to get married right. But just based on her saying that she's got Aidim. And let's say they so then they mounted her to get married. And then came Adim. For Amru Loyadanu, we don't know. She thought she had she thought she had Adim. Um, that you're gonna say that she was she was pure. And then they Adim said, No, we don't know. So then Harezu Lai say she does not have to go out. Right? Meaning, what does it mean, Lai She doesn't have to go out even from the psak of the Bezdin, not if she got married, even if it was just the psak of the Bezdin. Right, being bow aide tuma, but if Adam come who say that she was tame, a filu yesh lakam upon him, even if she has many kids, they say she has to go out because obviously they testified that she's uh they testified that she's she's actually she's uh, she was actually tame and she married a kayan. Right? It's interesting because there's a big tumult a lot of times you get this question, um and Somebody's chayshe that somebody on their shidduch resume is giving bad information about them. So they want to know if they could call up the person acting like they're asking for information and to see if the person is, what the aidus is they're going to say. So they want to know if that's okay. So I think the person can say it's okay. Sounds like this person right here. You know, she said, I got eight them that are coming to say I'm going to be pure. They come along and they say, oh, no, you're not pure. You, who <laughs> mazana with you? <coughs> right, so. <laughs> the, the, the the lesson is make sure that whoever you put on your resume, make sure they're on your side. They didn't have a fight with your father in base Medrash that week. Yeah. <laughs> Correct. Or didn't cut you off or whatever. Or you didn't cut them off. Fine. With the car, I'm saying. So, so then the Gemara brings an interesting story. There were these women who were who came to, to the Naharta, right? And I don't get the case exactly, but it seems like they brought them to Naharda in order to uh, negotiate, to get them to become free. And Shmuel, the Shmuel put, put Naturi, put them under a watch so that no, the guy won't get to them. So Shmuel said to his father, You're watching them now, they were kidnapped for the last year. Now they bring them to our town with this yid and you're having people watch them. What's that going to do for anybody? Right? Amar so he said back to him, Elu, if it was your daughters, me, I was mezalzel, would you be so mezalzel in them? Meaning you're being very practical. That's what I, that's why I understand this. Abu the Shmuel put them, put up watchmen to make sure that the Goyim don't mess with them. Shmuel says very practically, honestly, you're doing this for halachic purposes. They were already kidnapped for a year from now. If they were, if they, if the guy were going to be honest, them they already probably were honest them, right? So why? What's the point? So, so Abu Dushul said to him, "If it was your daughters, you wouldn't want to put. Maybe, maybe you, you could protect them from another, another, um, another episode of of somebody being honest them, right? So have a um, so have a kishkaga hachayotim lefnei ashalit." So this is based on a pasuk, and it says that it's like a shaygig that goes out from the mouth of the uh, king or the ruler, right? So meaning once, this is like when we say, al this is a form of it, meaning since Abu the Shmuel was the god of Lador, or one of the Lador, said to Shmuel, you, would you be happy if this happened to your, your daughters? So then Memela, once he opened his mouth, like sort of like a tzadik geyser, type thing, said so what happened was, 
Shmuel's daughter's taka got got captured. Right, Baskinu Lara the Israel, and they brought him up to Eretz Yisrael. Ukma and the Shvuyinu Ma'avroi, and then the the Shvuyinu, the people that the kidnappers put them outside. Ba'ili lebe Medrasha, the Reb Chanina, meaning <coughs> they basically what they did is they kept their kidnappers outside. I have no idea how they did this, but these guys kidnapped them. And they said, hey, you wait outside. We're running into the Bismedrish for a few minutes. <laughs> what kind of cap, what kind of guys are these that let this happen? Okay, well, that's what they did. The Rebchanina, they went into the Rebchanina's Bismedrish. So one of them said, I was captured, but I'm Tahira. Nobody messed with me. His one says, I was captured, but I'm Tahir. And, and uh, Sharinu. So Rebchanina said, they're mutter to get married. We trust them. Saif all also Shriyanu. So then after that, the the, the kidnappers came. Amar Rab Khanina and Rab Khanina said, see, Benon the Murion Inun, these are children of somebody who's a teacher. These 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 girls are smart, meaning they, they understood the halacha. Igloi Milsa, the Banase the Mashmul Habin. And then it be, it became known that it was the daughters of Mashmul. Yeah. So Amar Le Rav Chanina, Rav Shamar Bar Rava, Puk Itfu BeKrevesecha, go out, go out and be metapel, go deal with your relatives. Meaning, Rashi saying, he said, go marry them. Right? Rav Shaman was a Rav Shamar Bar Rava was a kohen, so go marry them to, to prove that they were not uh, messed with by the goyim. Amar Le Rav Chanina, but you can aid them. But there's aid them here. The Medina Sayam, and they're in the, but they're overseas, but there are aid them. Hashda, he said, Hashda, Mias Lesnu, come on, they're not in front of us. So Aidim Bitsad Istan, if there's Aidim that are on the side of the uh, from Istana, which is a faraway plan, a place, Rashi says it's from uh, in the Bitsad Safan in the north. But they also we're we gonna make her also. Meaning with the bottom line is we don't have the we don't have the testimony now. So if we don't have the testimony, we're gonna believe them on their words. So basically what these girls did is they made instead of making it waiting for any sort of testimony. They came running into the Besdin and they used the Pesha also, who a Pesha Hitter thing. Instead of them waiting for this whole scenario to play out with Adam, they quickly ran in ahead of the captures. So Mamela, they didn't have to tell Besdin that they were captured, right? but they did anyways. And then they said, but they were they were still pure. So Mamela, it was Pesha also, who a Pesha Hitter. These are very educated girls who grew up in the house of a rabbi who knew to do this, right? So then the Gemara asks, but time of the also Aiden. The only reason why we're allowing this is because Aiden didn't come. Ha also Aiden. But if Aiden would have come, Mitzra, we would say that they're also because you wouldn't have Pesh also a Pesh Eter. Oh, Omar Abu the Shmuel Kimishi to really not say Alpha Pesh Alain says, but didn't we say that once we mattered her, she gets married, she can get married even if she even if she didn't actually get married yet? Once Bez didn't matters her to get married, so we allow it. So Ravashi, Aide Tuma Idmar, no. We want to talk about Adim that are going to say that they were captured. No, we're talking about Adim who actually knew that she was Tommy. Right? And even, even then, we're not accepting, we're not, we're not worrying about it. Right? So that's that's basically what we're saying. It was a day Tuma, and we still don't, we're still not worried about it because they didn't show up. So they didn't show up, so we're gonna allow her to get married. Fine, on Tommy Bays. Talk to Mishnah, yeah. What time do you say is the Shabbos? What time do they say? 625? Okay, so let's try and go to the next mission. Uh, this is a, a technical Gemara, but it's really not so hard. It goes pretty fast. Shtei Nashim, Shanishbu. Two women that were captured, and Rashi says, it's talking about there were Edim that were captured. Right? This one says, I, I, I was captured, but I'm Tahira, I'm Tahira. This one says, Tishpesi, and she's Tahira, Eina Nehmanas, they're not believed. Again, why? They don't have a Pesha also. Right? The, the, we have aid them that they were captured. And the assumption is when they're captured, the Goyim were a Mazana with them. So therefore, the, that, them saying that they were Tarv, they don't count. You said that the, the Adem were captured? No, no, no. The Adem say aid us that they were captured. So now you don't have Pesha also. Or Pesha. Meaning if they come in and say, we were captured and we're fine, they believe. Here, the Adem said they're captured. So my male and Aiden said they're captured. These women are not believed to say that they're pure. 
But when each one testifies about the other, see in the Reisha, each one was talking about themselves. In the Seifa, this one is saying about the other. I mean, Rachel is saying about Leah. That's for you, Doc. Rachel is saying about Leah. She's pure. And Leah is saying about Rachel, which we know that we believe we believe in Eid Echad for this. Right? So, okay, so Tana Rabbanah. The Gemara goes through four different scenarios. Ani The what lady says, I'm Tame, my friend is Tar. Nemenes, she's believed on both. Uh, she says on both. She's believed about herself, that she's Tome, and she's believed about her friend that she's Tar. That's not such a Chiddush. Ani She says, I'm Tahira, and my friend is Tome, and an Amenis. She's not believed. Right? She's not believed on herself, not believed on her friend. Ani v'chavarti tumeya. If she says, me and my friend are tamay, nemenes al atma, she's never on herself, and nemenes al chavarta, because she's not believed on her friend to say that she's tamay. Ani v'chavarti tahayra, if me and my chava are tahayra, nemenes al chavarta, and nemenes al atma. Okay, so those are the four scenarios. Basically, on herself, she's Neman if she's Tome. On herself, she's not Neman if she's Tar. On her friend, she's Neman if the, that the friend is Tar. She's not Neman on the friend if she says Tome. Right. So Omar Ma. So Gemara goes through all the cases. Ani Tahira v'chavarti Tomeya ain't in a menace. I'm Tahira and my friend is Tome. She's not believed. What's the case? Hey, Chidami. Eat the Edim. If there's no Edim, Alatzma Ma'alei Mehemna. Why is she not believed? Right. Um, she said, I was captured and I'm tar. So, okay, so it's a pesha also. Elopshita, what must it be? The must be that they're Aidim. So, since they're Aidim, she was captured. She's obviously not believed by herself. So, let's say the middle case. I'm an, I and my friend became Tome. She's naming that she's Tome. But her friend not. If we're talking about this Aidim, am I Lama Hamna? Why she not believe? Alapshita the Laka Aidim must be there's no Aidim. And that's why. Um, that's why she she uh she's not believed. Right? Ama, safe is what about the safe? Aniba Khavarti Tar, me and my friend the tar, Nemenis Al Khaverta. She's she's believed on her friend Vain and Amenas Al Atma. Be the Laka Aidim, but if there's no Aidim, Atma am I Lama Hamna, why is she not the Hamna? Right? It's a Pesha also. She said she was captured and she's also tar. It's Pasha that is Aidim. Okay, so basically what we have here is you have the Reisha with Aidim, Seifa, um, no Aidim, and the middle case, no Aidim, and then the, end, the last case with Aidim. So Reisha, the Seifa, the Ike Aidim. Reisha and Seifa talking about where there's Aidim, Mitziyasa, the Leka Aidim. And the middle case is talking about where there's no Aidim. Does that make sense? So Rabbiya in Rasha was safe at the Ika Aidim, but see also the Laka Aidim. The Rasha is safe at Toma with his Aidim. The middle case, there's no Aidim. Fine. But Papa Omar, he has no, he has a way to save shot. Kula the Ika Aidim. It's all talking about where there were Aidim. The Ika Aid Echad, the Ka Afir. But there's also an Aid Echad who flips everything, meaning he's changing what she's saying. Not changing, but he's disagreeing with what she's saying. Amra, now the Gemara goes to it. Amra, she says, Ani v'chavarti I'm Tame, my friend is Tahira. But Amr Allah, Eidechad, and Eidechad says to her, At Tahira, no, you're Tahir, v'chavartich Tameya, and your, your friend is Tameya. Se'iyu shavisa l'nafsha chatichat isura. She, since she said about herself, she's Tame, so she made herself a chatichat isura. Right, so obviously she's also. Chavarta b'shtar yapum adida. But her friend becomes mutter, because of her, even though there's a witness against her, right? But we know that in these type of cases for, uh, for what do you call it? Um, uh, for Shvuya, so we're going to allow it, right? And then the second case is, I need to hire a chaverti to me. I'm tar, my friend is Tommy. Formula Eid Echad, no. At to me, a chaverti to hire. You're the one, Tommy. Your friend is tar. So, ihi, kim the ika eidim. Since there's Aidim, so so uh, she doesn't have the she has no love she's not believed to go against Aidim. And her friend is is mutter uh, based on the Aidakh, because we said in Aidakh we trust. 
So that's the middle case. The second case. If she says, me and my friend the Tomei, right? Again, the Eidechel is always saying the opposite of what she says. So since she said on herself she's Tomei, so obviously she can't marry a coin. But her friend becomes mutter based on the mouth of the aid. So what it says, why do you need that case? Well, it's the exact same, it's the exact same psak as the ratio. So ma the same honey to vire to hires the new, right? Though you might have thought that they're both taught. So why did she say that they're both tummy? We had this before. Thomas Nafshi and Plishtim he the ka'avda. She was doing Thomas. This is talking about the Pasik by Shimshin, right? When Shimshin was captured by the Plishtim. So what he did is that he was in a huge stadium or whatever it was, and he pushed both pillars down so that he would die together with all the plishtim, and he felt it was worth it. So basically, he said, Thomas Nafshi and plishtim. So here, too, the lady's saying, if I'm going to go down, I might as well pull down my friend, too. So you would think that we have to be chashed for that. Kamash Malon, that we, we makabal her, her aid is about herself, and therefore, she's also for the friend's book. Fine. The last case is Aniva Chavarti Tahira. Both of us are Tar. Vam Allah. Hey, Dechad. Hey, Dechad said, No, At the Chavarti Tameya. You are incorrect. You're both Tamei. So he came to Ika Edim. So she, since she has Edim, Lav Kol Kamine. So she doesn't. She's not believed. Right? Chavarta Mishtaria Pumadida. But her friend is is allowed based on her mouth. So he says, again, this is the first case of the first case. There's nothing being new being taught here. So my answer is not the same. When does she believe that's where she's going to puzzle herself? But where she's making herself kosher, maybe meaning she's saying she's kosher, right? She's saying she's kosher and her friend's kosher. Maybe she's not believed on her friend when it's when she's involved, because she has sort of like the gears, Kamash Malon, that we say no, that she is believed about her chaver and not about her and not about herself. Right? So okay, so then it's basically every all cases you have to examine whether it's dealing with Pesha of Pesha Hitter, whether there's an Aidah going on themselves, whether it's an coming from somebody else, and uh, and that's basically it. Okay, it's uh Friday's it's Stop and not do it as well as we should, but uh, fine. I hope it was understandable. All right. Have yourselves a fine Shabbos. Tomorrow, you too. Tomorrow Thank night. you. Tomorrow night. Yeah, All right. It's quarter um, to ten. To, good Shabbos. Jack, can I ask you a quick question? Go ahead. I, I said, someone, this is not for my wife, but someone asked me about manicures. I said it's for sure on one of the sheets. And I sent them all the links, but they said they didn't find it. Is that correct, or is it on the sheets? You know what it is? What saying, with Matt? Yes, there is correct because it's in the three weeks link that said you booked it. Is what? I have. I forgot. I forgot to add it to the nine days link. It's in the three weeks one. Oh, it is in the three. Okay, fine. <laughs> all right. I, I'm going to send them the three weeks one then. Yeah, but uh, it's, and, and, but this year though you can even cut it next week too. That was in a stam halacha. No, but it's there. cut. So cut right. So that you wrote in the nine days about cutting, but it's cutting what? the same. It's cutting the same as like is a manicure or polishing. I don't know the. Yeah, yeah. Halukas, you, uh, a, woman, a, a woman can wear makeup. Okay, fine. So until next week. So today is allowed. What? So today is allowed. That means. Today is for sure allowed. That's never a question. Okay. That's Thinking she could go, the Shiloh is next week if she can go to North Korea or only for, to South Koreans. That's the Shiloh. You know how many I people have got if today is this, whatever. Yeah, but you go first to South Korea. I know, Dave yelled at me that I missed this morning a lively discussion. Right. So. Yes, you, what? you did. You did. I know, but my my daughter decided she didn't want to go to sleep till after one o'clock in the morning. I, okay, you know, good for her. there's only good so much her. I can. There's only so much not sleep I can have. Yeah, you know? That's true. Yeah, I'm that. not on Siaco's Madriga yeah. yet. Yeah. Let me ask you a question. Once we're on the subject, a different subject. Yeah. Now that another cutting nails text just came through. Um, okay. Is there a way on the internet to figure out how far away camp is from my mother's house, like as the crow flies? 
without how many feet it is, so I could see yes. whether you can make an eight of tchum. Yes. How? Mm-hmm. Do you job. have do you have the, the GPS about. coordinates for both? No, I just have the address. Can you send me both addresses? I'll send you back a map. You just I just need to know how many feet is as you know. Yeah, yeah. I'm saying so send say if you send me the GPS, I'll I'll what's it called? You need it for like this Shabbos? I would like to if I could. But how, it's not how long how long do I have until his mom? What? How long do I have? Oh, you got two hours to shop. Oh, okay, fine. Hours. Yeah, could you send me the addresses? I'll send you back a map with 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 uh, with uh, what's it called? Hold on. Yeah. What's the address? Anybody know the address here? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna what's it called? So I'll send. I'll look out for a text. I'm gonna jump off so I don't burn noodles. Oh uh, yeah, have a good job. Have a good job, guys. I'll give you a shikaya. Have a good Shabbos. You recovered yet from your trip? No, not even close. Okay. Hopefully, Bo Shabbos. Bo yeah, it's a sham. That's a sham. All right, have a good Shabbos. Good Shabbos. I am I'm so late for this time.